have the pump all set up and it's not agitating or pumping at all. I'm not sure what's wrong. We pulled it out here a bit. Probably gonna have to unhook that hose to pull it out all the way, but Dad's gonna go out and see if it's turning. I'm gonna turn the PDO stub a bit. Well, well, what do you know? More rain. The year of the rain. I'm just uh, working on putting the manure pump in the small pit down here to pump up to our larger pit. But I gotta wait until the rain slows down a bit because I gotta get outside and I don't feel like it. So, come back to Pond Bank Farms, by the way. Sit back, enjoy the video. And let me introduce myself for those of you who haven't watched me before or don't know who I am. I'm Ben Lichty. I am a 29 year old dairy farmer and cash cropper and I work with my dad and my brother to make that happen. Okay, so I got the pump set up there. I'm gonna go home and have lunch. Dad's gonna start stirring while I'm doing that. And we'll get it stirred up today, pumped up, and someone wants to rent our pump tomorrow so we gotta get it done finished today and pumped up, but that shouldn't be a problem. So we made it go around. Um, it went around when we turned the uh, pump at the front. I think it must be plugged somewhere. So I had the pump all set up and it's not agitating or pumping at all. I'm not sure what's wrong. We pulled it out here a bit. Probably gonna have to unhook that hose to pull it out all the way, but Dad's gonna go out and see if it's turning. I'm gonna turn the PDO stub a bit. I don't know what that's gonna tell us other than it's not broke. It does turn, which is good. What did you do to fix it, Gare? What did you do to fix it? Explain to us. I read it up my, my, my elder and my son. You're a good man, Gary. Okay, we got it working. I don't even know for sure what we did. We pulled it out. Sorry I didn't video more, by the way. I have, I was elbows deep in manure, so. We pulled it out and the spout had a bit of solid manure in it, which obviously is not going to screw out the spout like that. So we cleaned that out. But before it wasn't coming out the top either, so I'm not sure. I hope it'll come out the top, but it's working. We're stirring. We won't complain. Well, it's almost stirred. Okay, we're gonna try to switch this and pump the manure up. Fingers crossed, I guess. Am I a little nervous? Possibly. But I shouldn't have to be very nervous. Oh, it's, no, it's good, it's good. We're good, we're good, we're good. I'll just rev it up a bit. Maybe rev it up to, I don't know, 800. We're at 800, 850 maybe. The faster we pump it, the faster it gets up, I guess. It's already six o'clock and it takes a few hours, so we want it done before we go to bed, obviously. And if I zoom way in, Let's see my zooming skills here. You can see it pumping right there. All right, well, I'm gonna leave here for a bit. Everything should go smoothly. Well, we're way up here. I gotta cut this branch here because uh, it's getting low and can't mow underneath it. So I got the chainsaw up here. And it's this uh,
I'm just checking out the beans at a rented farm here. And the uh, main goal is to check out the wheat pressure. And now that I'm out here, it doesn't look like these came up as evenly as our other field, which is somewhat strange. Planted the same day, I didn't change anything. Well, maybe it's not looking that bad. There are weeds out here, so this is a time to come out with some Roundup and uh, take care of some of this. Okay, we're just gonna check and see how empty this pit is. Gotta keep checking on it. Getting there. What would that be? It's over half. I'm gonna check the heat gauge here. Okay, under half. That's uh, fine. Looks like Jake's grabbing some bales. Yeah. <laughs> what did mommy do? This is better than I thought it'd be. We gotta cut this soon, Cl Cl Clyde. We have a motorcycle rider. Good morning, guys. So I'm just waiting at the shop here. Dad's bringing over the TW20. Um, we've had this problem for a while with it, the steering pump. For those of you that follow the channel and follow it for a while will know we've had huge problems with the steering pump. Well, it's leaking again, so I mean, it's been leaking for a while. But with a lot of rainy weather in the forecast, we can spare getting another tractor on, having it down for a few days. So Dad's bringing it over in a few minutes here. I'm gonna pull the steering pump out and and then we're gonna get it fixed again. And I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, so for anyone that's new here, hey, are you pretending to drive? Yeah. So for anyone that's new here, the steering pump's in here. We've I've had it apart very way too many times, <laughs> but we'll do it again. Um, just take these hoses off and unbolt the top, it's actually fairly simple. It's crazy how much more simple it is now that I've done it four times. <laughs> you need help down? Okay, all the bolts are out. Now, you just gotta, there we go. And that's it right there. Okay, we'll just set this here and dad can come pick it up. And get it fixed, and hopefully, they start can figure out what is actually going on. No. Okay, for our next order of business, I got about 20 acres of beans yet that need to get sprayed with Roundup. Um, I didn't get it sprayed with the rest because there were no weeds at the time because I had sprayed it previous to planting beans. So, gotta get that done. So, Jake's gonna be putting this tractor on the mixer. I'm just gonna help him get ready for that right now. So worth noting, he's gonna be away tonight, so I am milking, so stick around if you want, if you like cows. How this fares with one hand. It's not usually, doesn't usually work very well, but I'm gonna need two hands. So we're doing 17 gallons an acre for 20 acres. We're only gonna need a little under 400 gallons, so um, that's a little heavier than we have to do. definitely makes it less work. Um, we're already done and ready to spray. Here we are. Ah. 
I think it's time for me to spread my wings a little bit. So I don't know, I doubt the camera really pick it up, but I'm seeing some leaves shoot off here and I'm, my guess is that deer are coming out of there and chewing on the beans. So oh well, what do you do? So this field is a perfect pie shape. The advantage to that, well, I guess you only have three corners. <laughs> There's no advantage really, it just kind of sucks to spray. But at least it's a big, like it's a 25 acre field, so it's not tiny, at least where we farm. Okay, we're just going over the outside round again. Just got the outside section on here, or this, this half of the boom, I should say. We had about 50 gallons left, and weeds always, there's always more weed pressure on the outside, so I'm gonna empty it off by spraying a double dose on the outside. Well, that's it, that's all for this field and for spraying today. Not sure when we're gonna have to spray next. We'll see if the um, soybeans get any serious insects in them or anything we gotta spray. Jake got the soy hooked on the mixer there. And I'm just finishing washing the sprayer out. Okay, it is milking time. Well, we are at milking. This is the halfway point here. I'm just getting cows ready tonight. This here is a fresh cow. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I should ask dad. Is this a fresh cow here? Okay, so she's recently fresh and she's got a sore leg as well. Because of that, we put her in a pen every night and uh, just uh, to make sure she's comfortable and that's the way it'll heal the fastest. So first we strip them. Then we dip them. And this is just to get all the bacteria off. Let that marinate for a little. Move on to the next one. And same process again. And then we wipe them. So the red tape on that cow's leg means that cow does not get milked in the tank. She's treated. So in this barn we have what you call tunnel ventilation. So we got big fans up above here. We got a total of 11 big fans on this end. Four on this side and seven on that side. And then we have wall on the far end wide open curtain obviously so you can close it when it gets cold and what these fans do is they suck all the air through the barn and give you good ventilation so even if it's warm you have moving air and moving air obviously is always cooler so even on warm days it's actually not too bad it's a lot better in here than outside well Gareth thanks for taking over Gareth sure. I got a Dad's taking over for me now. We're on the home, what we call the home stretch here, so 15 more cows or so to milk. I have a door, a roll up door, I'm gonna try to fix. So, this door over here, the cable came off up here. Now, they say it's pretty simple to get it back on, but I don't. Does it have to be down or up to put it on? I think down by the looks of it, maybe. We'll put you somewhere exciting so you can see all the action. You're up in the barn rafters right now. I see this punch here. I wonder if this was something for it. I'm going to try putting it down because it's so close anyway. Maybe it is though. Maybe it is. I 
Well, we fixed it. That was very, very easy. So I wouldn't have done to have toys like this when I was a kid. That is a nice set of equipment right there. Okay, now we're gonna unhook the sprayer. I'm gonna hook onto the air seeder here tonight. Tomorrow I wanna swash it off and eventually when the shop's empty, I wanna look at the discs and stuff. I know there were there were some depth wheels that weren't turning the greatest and I wanna get that looked after. Um, it works fine in no-till conditions, but when you have it tilled, they don't turn right and they push ground. So I wanna look at that and there's some other stuff. Um, there's a few beans in there yet that I gotta empty out. And we want it right ready for winter wheat when that's time to go. And once we get busy here, we're gonna get busy because we're gonna have first cut. We got uh, like 15 acres of first cut yet in a rented farm. All of our second cut here, we got peas and oats. And then we'll be going straight into combining and then we'll be busy till winter. Like I'm not even kidding. So we want it and then, you know, you combine beans and you gotta plant winter wheat right away. We don't have a whole lot of help around here, so. All that gabbing to say, that's why we're working on the air seeder right now. Okay, we got the, the lift hooked up and the tilt. So. Okay, we're gonna use our number one. It's supposed to be the lift. I don't know if I have the hydraulics the right way or not. How faster these hydraulics set? Ten, oh, that could explain it. We're gonna set them a little higher so we can see some action. There we go. I kind of wish I'd have some bare ground when I have a time more to try running this on and seeing how it's set. I guess I gotta take more time and just do it when we're busy. Um, the beans planted pretty good, but not perfect. Maybe I can try it on my wife's lawn. No, you don't think? Maybe my mom's lawn. That would even be worse. Ladies and gents, that concludes another day in the life at Palm Bank Farms. We will see you tomorrow. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm gonna work on wash, washing the air seeder off this morning. Had a uh, big oil leak on here when I uh, planted last this spring, and then I made everything dirty. So, I'm gonna try to clean it up a bit. See how that goes. My, it's so nice and clean in here. Unlock the hydraulics. Lift up. And we're gonna drive over to the front of the heifer barn here. Where we're gonna wash it off. In all honesty, it's not overly fun to watch a piece of equipment get washed. So we'll show you when we're done, see if it looks any better. Okay, well, after an hour or so, I got that clean, not super well. I didn't worry too much about the um, back part, but my main thing was washing all the oil. There are a bunch of spots where there's a lot of oil sitting, um, fittings and stuff, so try to get that good and clean. I also scrubbed the tank just to give it that shine, if you will. Um, nice part about this color is it doesn't show the dirt very much, but it also doesn't like shine up like a red or a green or something like that. But um, Anyway, that's uh, it's an older machine too, so it's probably faded somewhat, although I don't know how much. Um, anyway, so got that done. So now like there was a bunch of oil on here. I got that somewhat cleaned off. I'll be able to tell where oil leaks are coming. Um, these hoses are going, getting shot. Gonna have to change a lot of them this winter, but they should work yet for the wheat. Also up here, there was a lot of oil, so got that cleaned off, so. Now what I'm gonna do is lift it up and just make sure, I know we had one hose that was, one of these hoses that was pulling out 
when I folded it up sometimes and I want to make sure we get that looked after because you can't have that um was it this one or oh it's this one here so we got to get that figured out it was catching here I think so I'm not sure what we're going to do about that well now that hay looks good Jake likes his red cows, so we got a few of them. My dad claims it used to be mostly red and white cows, and then everyone thought black and white was all the rage. So they bred for black and white, and now we're going back to, back to red and white. It's not funny how the human race is. We want what we don't have, don't we? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna unfold it and step out and see how the hoses react. So I think everything looks pretty good. I just gotta zip tie that so it doesn't catch. I think. Hey guys, so I'm just washing off my siding at my house here and also gonna wash off the deck here while I'm at it. And uh, hopefully get it cleaned up a bit. Clyde's helping me here today. He's holding the hose for me. I guess you'd call this a halfway point. Got all the grooves cleaned out. I'm gonna just spray off the top now if uh, I don't get rained out, which technically I already am, but gotta keep going. Okay, well, I got rained out. It's uh, raining just too much. I got too wet. So I'm taking this track for that. Jake can have it. I'm gonna keep the pressure washer here and hopefully it'll stop in a bit and I can continue. Try not to hit my truck here. I just got back and stopped raining, so we'll keep going. Okay, so that part's done. And this is the difference a clean deck can make versus a dirty deck. Just gotta do this part, yeah. So much nicer. I don't know how long the wood's gonna last, but this should help it last a bit longer. Okay, well that's as good as I'm gonna get it. But we took some hydraulic hoses off of there that were leaking. Just got them put back on. I think we're going to be done here for the night now. Um, I'm thinking of maybe going to Dairy Queen tonight with the fam, so we'll see where that transpires. Do you want to get some ice cream, Clyde? No. no. Why not? We are at the Dairy Queen. Are you hungry? Not overly. Are you snacky? Yeah. Are you going to get a banana split? <laughs> No? You don't like banana splits? I might actually I've only split. ever had one. And this is why we support Dairy Queen. 100% Canadian dairy. Careful. Fling over. Alrighty. Well, we are on our way home. We even got a Timmy, so we really treated ourselves tonight. We did. So... Um, it's supposed to rain again tomorrow all day and then next week off and on so Not sure when we're gonna get in the field, but stay tuned and uh, I'm sure we will get into the fields eventually But with that being said, I think that'll be the end of this video. Thank you everybody for watching <laughs> And uh, Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos and uh, you can like it, you can share it to your friends if you have friends that you think would enjoy it. Thanks guys, have a good one. <laughs>